gorgeous. After three years, we are back in Fort William after the longest break from this classic venue since it first featured in the 2002 season. Last time we visited the Scottish Highlands, we were treated to incredible performances from Amory Pierron and Rachel Atherton. Amory will definitely be a rider to watch as he has won the last two times we have visited with a massive margin of three and a half seconds in 2019. Coming off another big win in Lourdes, he could be tough to beat this weekend. Before the racing begins, here are some stories to get you clued in before round two of the 2022 Downhill World Cup. One of the big stories of the Lourdes World Cup was Miriam Nicole taking second place in finals after what sounded like a really bad concussion. In the run up to Fort William, Miriam has revealed that she's been struggling with post concussion symptoms day and night, including headaches. And, yep, that's Dave. Dave is with Miriam. Cut to, cut to Dave. David. So, yeah, so good to have you back on a bike. Um, how are you getting on today? Uh, I did four runs this morning. The first one, I did cry. <laughs> because, like, it was like, oh, it's too hard, you know, I didn't start ready. But then, you know, I, I put my ex uh, expectation a bit lower and uh, had fun on the second run, and I'm, I'm just happy to be here. So, I wouldn't expect the track to be that hard, even though I've heard it's so much smoother than it how it was uh, the last week. So um, now I'm happy I did four runs and I'm gonna keep building mm. each day. Normally I've had many injuries and normally if I break my upper body, I do a lot of work on my lower body. If I break my lower body, I do a lot of work on my upper body. I always find a way to work my heart rate, you know? And this time, because it was a brain injury, I couldn't do anything. It was like the symptoms would come back and I couldn't focus, headache and stuff. So I had to lay, lay down and to just try to do some some easy stuff. So that was really the hard thing to you cannot watch your phone, you cannot watch your laptop, you so I listen to some music and just lay down and recover. So yeah, it's uh, it was a time off. <laughs> Miriam is not the only top rider suffering from post-concussion symptoms with Tani Seagrave sitting out Fort William entirely after a huge crash three weeks ago. We have just heard that Finn Isles is joining the growing list of riders with concussions as he has announced that he will miss Fort William to instead undergo testing and rehab at Red Bull's Athlete Performance Centre in Austria. Speaking of injuries, unfortunately, Charlie Harrison has broken his finger after a nasty crash and it doesn't look like he will be racing this weekend. With a huge gap of almost two months between Lourdes and Fort William, riders had plenty of time to get between the tape in smaller national races, with a stacked lineup of riders turning up to race the British National Series here in Fort William a few weeks ago. Danny Hart and Nina Hoffman may have won the elite categories, but it was junior racer Jordan Williams 
who stood out the most with a flat out run that saw him beat Jackson Goldston by almost nine seconds and set the second fastest overall time of the day. Yeah, feeling really good. Uh, they've made a few changes from the BDS and yeah, it's just, I'm loving it. It's like a dream come true to race Fortland World Cup. So yeah, I'm really excited. I want to win juniors and then just look where I end up in elites. I'm not trying to go out and win the elites, you know, it's just win the juniors, get that done and then have a look and see in the elites. Yeah, I feel like this track, you need to be really patient with it and take the time and carry lots of speed. And I feel like as a rider, I'm really good at carrying speed and just not going over the limit and just flowing. So I think my style suits this track quite well. So. I've had a lot of races at the start of the year and races last year. I've made a lot of mistakes and rode not how I wanted to. So I feel like I've learned a lot and uh, it just all came together and I had yeah, a good run. So I'm looking to do the same here. Finally, one of the biggest stories this week has been the amazing news that Rachel Allerton is back between the tape and Fort William. We weren't sure if she would be back in time for this weekend, but she's been making the most of Friday's practice session and getting a few runs in. Yep, we got Dave with her right now. Over to Dave. <laughs> uh, oh, it's amazing to be back. I, didn't, I haven't been to a World Cup since I snapped my Achilles tendon in 2019 in Leger, so it feels like it's so nice to be here and see everyone. Although I haven't seen anyone yet because I missed track walk day. So. Well, it's pretty sketchy this morning. I did first run, but I didn't do track walk. So I was just riding off memory and I watched my GoPro from like three years ago and it was similar. But yeah, it felt good. And then it's kind of scary. Definitely a bit of a shock to go straight into Fort William. Um, second run and third run, I just felt better and better, really. But like I feel good on the bike and the bike feels good and it's tempting to, to race, but I'm not ready physically. You know, I was so out of breath, so tired get back into it slowly. I don't want the first race to be where I'm actually racing. So it's been really nice to just practice and feel the speed and remind yourself like how much training you have to do and stuff. And yeah, I've had a really good day. So tempting to race, but yeah, I'm not quite ready. So <laughs> my mum's here and she's looking after the baby while I ride, like we do at home at the bike park and stuff. So it's actually really nice coming down the finish, doing that last jump and, and seeing the baby then in the push chair and uh, normally crossing the line and like the crowd are cheering or not if you don't win. And then now I'm coming across and the baby's there. It's amazing actually, yeah. Hadn't really thought about it, but it's, it's special to come here to Fort William with, with, for the first time and she seems to enjoy it, so yeah. That is it here in Fort William for practice day on the Friday. That is a bus. I've been Ben Cathro. <laughs> Hope you're up to speed. We'll see you tomorrow for Inside the Tape. My favorite video. We'll see you then. Can, can I move? Yay! Woohoo!